Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with The Forest. If you enjoyed this video, please visit a graveyard and write cause of death didn't subscribe to Modest Pelican on people's tombstones, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. I've always wanted to play this game and so I messaged my friend Zanny and asked if he was down and he said yes Jeff. He enjoys spelling my name incorrectly. If this video gets 70,000 likes, I'll make The Forest Part 2 and legally change my name to Jeff with a J. So we load in on a plane and my character is already reading a survival guide. That seems like a bad luck, self-fulfilling prophecy, but at least we've got a kid, which is great. Not the parenting part, I'm just happy that my avatar isn't a virgin. Like every survival game, the plane crashes and we are knocked unconscious. As I wake, some man covered in blood is taking my child. It's been like 40 seconds and so I haven't developed much of a relationship with the little Malacca yet, so honestly better him than me. I awake for a second time and quite poetically, the first thing I see is my my kid's drawing. I can't help but notice how out of proportion his stick figures are. This kid can't draw for shit. On the positive side, I meet another passenger who of course is Zanny. Hey man. Hey. <laughs> Bro, you should, you should see yourself, man. Oh dude, I got an axe or something. Oh dude, me too. Kill it. Kill it. All right, bro, kill the fuck. <laughs> I got one. You got one? I have a, I killed the bird. Nice bro. Two bros against all odds survived a plane crash together and now must outlast and conquer this godforsaken forest. The game is also pretty adamant about us saving my son so I guess we'll chalk that in as a secondary objective if there's time. I immediately slay some dinner for us and we also get our first glimpse of the ocean. As we know in survival games, it's crucial to be efficient on your first day because when nightfall comes, it's never good. I'm not a great judge of character, but the man who stole my kid seemed like he had definitely eaten some of the other passengers. We proceed to drink our only two soda cans and then get a fire going to cook some meat. Whoa, your bird oh. just landed on your hand. What the f- Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> kill it quick! Dude, shit, I hit the fire, bro! No! <laughs> no! Oh god, the meat! Oh, the meat! <laughs> the meat's the everywhere! Meat. Oh, we're gonna die. Is it what, good? I don't know, I think we're just eating oh, raw no. meat. Alright, let's just move on. Let's move forward. I feel like we need to, we need to just... Okay. That was a good learning experience. What's this? Is this? Is that a head? Oh! Ah! Zan! Did you live? Yeah, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm not. Bro, I collected a human leg. Equip. Look what I'm holding. <laughs> As nightfall sweeps over, it becomes immediately apparent that we have not had an efficient first day. The fact our only light source is a Bic lighter also makes things just that little bit more terrifying. If you're wondering why Zanny's name is Mullerstan, it's in relation to the German soccer player and absolutely not the high-ranking German official Heinrich Muller who operated during World War II. Or so I assume. Fortunately, we find some huts where we can safely spend the night, and most importantly, fresh water. We both swear we can hear distant screams, so rest in peace to my baby boy. He'll have to show his disgusting drawings to Jesus in heaven now. Morale is surprisingly high, but little to our knowledge, something was watching us from the darkness. And... Voila! No, you, you brought light into our home. I did, see? Told you, man. I'm a fucking gamer. Yeah, bro. Told shit. you. There's um, people right here. This is not sanitary, man. Yeah. Did you hear that? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Just take play cool, bro. Play cool. Hit him with. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's coming with a human. One more! Alright, so not a good idea, staying by the cannibal area. Mm, they came home pretty quickly, didn't they? We decide that spending any more time at the cannibal village probably isn't the smartest strategy. Most people's innate intuition would have told them that before they were savagely attacked, but it's become clear that we need to build a base. We construct a temporary tent for tonight, which is quite small, but it's fine because real bros snuggle. It's a massive relief for the both of us to see that sweet sunlight. As we head further in, we find remains of where other passengers have tried to camp. I arrive at the beach and it's a mess of rotting carcasses and suitcases from the plane. I'm also somehow starving again already. It's like my character is trying to bulk or something. Fortunately, sea turtles are everywhere and we proceed to massacre several of them. It's kind of brutal, but not nearly as brutal as when they lay their eggs on the beach. Turtles failed evolution. It's kind of embarrassing. After hatching, the little babies have to crawl all the way to the water while predators eat them like they were an assorted cheese platter. Once the babies get to the water, they'll still probably get eaten, but if they do somehow survive, they begin what is known as the lost period where they disappear for 
10 years. One in 1,000 hatchlings survive until adulthood. That's statistically a 0.001% chance. The same chance a girl hits you back after you send them an unsolicited dick pic. Adult turtles are just successful dick pics and so I have no moral dilemma about harvesting their meat to cook up for dinner. We decide to search the yacht and then build up a base on the cliff. If the cannibals come again for us tonight, we need to be better prepared. I just got three snacks, probably shouldn't have taken all of them. That's alright. I am literally starving to death. Well, eat a snack or something. We're just gonna build a small cabin? I like it. Yeah, it's safe. It's a good view. I mean, it's a little misty around here, I'll be honest with you, bro, but... We're building a fucking cabin, dude. Dude, that's two games today that I've played that does that. It looks cool, man. <laughs> the screams will never not be funny to me. With the cabin built, we at least now have a place to hide. We proceed to build quite the camp and then have a genius idea. If we can construct a staircase down to the water and build a raft, then should things get out of hand, we'll have an escape route. We proceed to start grinding, and I mean, if a survival game doesn't have you hitting trees for hours at a time, are you even immersed? The construction mechanics in this game are surprisingly deep, and so we decide we'll spend a few days here on the beach establishing a base of operations before we make a serious trek inland. Apparently I have to find my son, but he I... does not understand that daddy needs to make a catapult. That's not much, Zanny, but it's home. They're coming! Oh, they're there's... coming, they're coming! They're here, they're here. Oh god. Not the house! Not the house! Defend the house, Sid! Come here, bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, I cop that. The trick is just to become the cannibal, you know? Bro, there's a cannibal just standing here. Oh, bro, there's a lot of them. They're just watching me. How many? Oh, they're not just watching me, bro! Fucking cannibal. We can absolutely make a zipline from, like, here over there. Oh, my God. It would be insanely epic. Daddy, they ate my leg. Yes, son, but look. Look. Oh, I wonder if my rabbit trap worked. It caught a rabbit, dude. Oh, nice, bro. Kill oh, it. Yeah. I think you just press A and you just grab it. Oh. I got it. Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah I'll, drop, I'll drop it for... Oh, no, what the fuck? It was alive. I... I'm what? so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 the base is pretty scuffed, and we most definitely invested too much time and resources into the back stairs, which were never actually finished. It's okay though, because it's time to build a boat. To construct a raft, we need four pieces of rope, which is one of the rarer items to find in this game, and is often in dangerous locations. It'll be worth it though, because we'll be much safer on the water. I also learned that my son's name is Timmy, and I'm sure Timmy wouldn't even want to be rescued if he didn't have a safe boat to draw his shitty drawings on. Plus, the emotional scarring has surely already already happened. What's a few more days with the savages really going to change? That kid's going to be a hot mess either way. We continue further into the forest and stumble across a cave. Neither of us are happy about it, but we know we have to go inside as the chance of rope being in the cave is reasonably high. It's like we wait for daytime to go into a dark ass cave. Oh fuck. Bye. Bye. What do you mean? Don't leave me in here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait, did you leave me? The sun on my what face. What the fuck is this? I have to back out. Oh, scared. this is frightening me. Oh, get out of here, you dog! Glossing over the fact that Zanny left me for dead, we forge forward and find another cave entrance. It's just as creepy, but then we find something interesting on the ground. Another one of Timmy's drawings, and again, it's completely unbelievable. This guy's spine is way too long, and the blood is clearly just careless red scribble. Also, why does the cannibal have hands and the dead passenger doesn't? The inconsistencies are embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh god. Is, is that our son? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dropping cash. Yeah. Nice. Dude, it's a pinata. It was well worth exploring the cave as we found eight cans of soda, but unfortunately still no rope. We then stumble across some of the other passengers who aren't looking too hot. It's obviously barbaric, but these blood craving psychopaths have far more raw artistic talent than my disappointment of a child. We continue forward, now a decent distance from our base. We discover an enormous sinkhole of some kind, and our character proceeds to write in his journal saying that we should explore it. A bad idea, and super lame keeping a journal. I hope the cannibals bully him for that. We realize that we'll need to make an outpost by these lakes, as nightfall is close. Whoa, you said there's mountains in the distance, Danny? You can actually explore them. The mountain is not just a backdrop. You can actually walk all the way to that mountain. Sometimes the meat's like full. And sometimes it's half. I guess 
the size of meat. Uh, we would have a rabbit. <laughs> we continue destroying the forest's fragile ecosystem and build ourselves a suitable camp to spend the night. We decide that today is the day we find rope, even if we have to search the entire island. A raft would be a game changer as we could navigate the rivers efficiently. Zan and I head out into the wilderness with our red axes and the tutorial guide still displaying on our HUD. We never completed it because seeing things through to the end is overrated. We stumble upon another cave and then just climb straight down without a worry. Like most tourists who travel on aeroplanes, we have both outstanding one-handed climbing technique and astonishing upper body strength. At the bottom of the cave, there isn't much, but there's a rope. We can both loot the rope, meaning we have two of the four ropes needed. Rope collecting is epic gaming content. Rope! We are geniuses. Oh, new clothes. Whoa. All right, I have new clothes. You got the, you got a, you got a suit on. I have an interview with a cannibal <laughs> chieftain. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, this is human shit, not cannibal shit. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a Bible. Yeah. A Bible? <gasps> I am the survivalist here. You really are surviving. It's because I live in a third world country. <laughs> <laughs> Our outpost is proving to be quite a good investment, but we need to look wider. There's also a growing concern that the cannibals seem to be getting angrier and definitely more aggressive. They used to sometimes just watch us from a distance, but now they're all about violence. They're also getting stronger as the days go on. Like these two big girls are slapping harder than the boys do at the pokies. Remember my video vlog? I'm going to do another one with the boys soon. Anyway, they're pretty interesting enemies as they seem to all behave differently. Zanny charges at them literally every time though, even when they're chilling, but I love his energy. We find a small village which has crocodiles that we kill for armor. It's also got more bags from the plane that have rags and medication. Inside one of the strange cannibal huts, there's even red paint and so we paint ourselves red. Hopefully, they now think we're one of them or something. We're almost ready to give up on the rope, but then Zan spots some strange buildings in the distance. We're hungry and nightfall is coming, but we make the stunning and brave decision to check them out anyway. There's like hanging ropes, but we can't get them. It's so ass. No, I got it. I got it. Over here. Over here. Over here. Oh, what? Grab, grab, these, grab these ropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can grab them. You can grab them. Over oh, here. what? No, wait. That's, that's off, bro. <laughs> We also need a lot of logs for the raft, so we proceed to methodically chop down some trees. Now back to the hype, as this is debatably one of gaming's greatest moments. Bro, this is our moment. This is happening. <laughs> We're about to fucking yeah. go sailing. There you go. It's just two more logs, bro. This oh my so, lord. It's <laughs> so beautiful. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh shit. Hey. Yes. <laughs> we got a... Gods. <laughs> we got a rope, bro. <laughs> you looking for fish? Uh, no, nah, I'm just going to crouch like right at the edge of the raft. Let the rain hit my face. Yeah, that's nice. Ah, oh, yes. Home sweet home. <laughs> it's like, this shit is stick. It's completely unfinished. Dude, we can hop to that stair from here, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yes! Oh my god, it worked. it worked perfectly. And then you just have to... You just kind of have to... You just gotta shim you gotta shim nah, I slipped off. I'm not going to be winning Father of the Year anytime soon, but I'll definitely be feeling that sweet sea breeze in my face. This game is so fun. Thanks for watching, you absolute legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.